Good evening. At least this evening here in uh, in Virginia, this is KA4 PMV. This is John Lyons here in Virginia. Today I'm going to be going over some of the uh, most popular digital modes uh, used in amateur radio. A little demonstration of uh, of what they are and how they're used. I'm going to be covering the JT65 HF version to 1093, which is running behind me here in uh, uh, on this computer here uh, on top of the uh, uh, the kitwood there we're going to be looking at digipan if you want to uh, to download these programs uh, you can download digipan at digipan.net that's a digipan 2.0 we're going to be looking at the cw git and the cw type program which are which is the CW transmit and receive program, and that can, uh, those two programs can be downloaded from dxsoft.com. We're also going to be looking at uh, at the MMTTY, which is a ready program, and the MMSSTV, which is a slow scan uh, uh, TV uh, program. You can download from hamsoft.ca. And uh, the software that I mentioned, as far as I know, is, is freeware. It's no charge for the software. You just download it, install it on your computer. You don't need an elaborate interface to run it. And I'm just basically running what I have here on uh, the transmit and receive, both on the audio output transformer. Transformers are uh, isolation transformers uh, in between the... Uh, uh, the receiver and the uh, uh, and the computer. You have the uh, the audio from the sound card to the mic input, and then you have the receive audio from the computer to the mic input of the sound card. And uh, it's not hard at all to hook up. If you just wanted to receive uh, these modes, you could just basically put your computer speaker in front of the. Uh, I mean your computer microphone in front of your speaker, your receiver speaker on the upper side band and it, it'll copy it quite, uh, quite well. And uh, like I say, the, uh, these programs are freeware programs. I've been interested in the digital communications for a long time. I have just about every form of digital communication. You can imagine even on my police scanner back there, I wish they went to trunking uh, and uh, most of that uh, that now is, is coming down digital. And uh, I'm going to uh, remove the uh, camera here from the uh, the tripod here in a minute and get over here to some of the HF rigs and give you a little demonstration on uh, on how they work. Uh, I have made many contacts using the JT65 HF DX. I don't know how many DX stations I've worked with it. Uh, probably up in the up in the hundreds just here in the uh, the last uh, several months. And uh, DigiPan, that's good too. That's a good digital mode. Okay, well, let me remove uh, the uh, uh, the camera here from the tripod, and I'm going to get over here to one of the, uh, the rigs here, and we'll take a look at some of the programs that I'm running here. Okay, you may have seen my hand in front of the screen. <laughs> uh, not much, uh, not too good at doing videos here yet, but I'll, I'll get better, I guess, as time goes on. What we're running here now is the uh, is the uh, MMTTY, the RIDI program that I mentioned. And uh, it's, uh, like I say, it's freeware and it works basically over your sound card of the computer. Let me send a CQ here. Okay, that's basically what that is. It's, it's a ready program. And there is your uh, monitor up there. It may be a waterfall on this program. I'm not sure whether it is or not. 
but basically you just tune it, uh, uh, tune your ready signal uh, into the highest peak there when it, when the signal has been being transmitted. Okay, I'm going to close this program out here now, and I'm going to go to another one here, and we're going to do the CW type uh, program. All right, it seems to have loaded up here pretty quick. The TX on, the speaker is on. Okay, let's hit the, the F1 here and see what happens with this one. Anyhow, uh, I thought I had uh, something else programmed in here, but I don't guess I do. Let's see here. What's in there? No. I thought I had my call letters programmed in this, but I don't. I haven't got into the micro rolls yet and, uh, and programmed anything into this. Uh, but basically, you just uh, uh, put your call letters and stuff in there. I'd, haven't had a chance to really set this program here up yet. Okay, let's see here now. Uh, let's see here. Okay. I guess we could just send something from the keyboard here. camera isn't too good on a close-up. Uh, okay, that's basically what the CW program is, and you also have uh, another program called the uh, the CW uh, uh, Git program, which uh, which receives the uh, the Morse code. Okay, we'll move over here now to this other computer over here. All right, it seems I went to sleep here. Let's see if we can get him back up here. Okay, we're running the JT, uh, the JT 65HF version 1093 on this one here, and we have uh, uh, quite a few uh, calls coming in there. Let's see what we've got here. Looks like some Fs there, and uh, some other DXs coming in there. And, uh, yeah, all those in the caller there, they were calling CQ, uh, somebody to respond to them. And, uh, there's some more there that's calling CQ. There's one there. What is that? It looks like a VT. And, uh, Trying to get this camera set so you, you could see a little bit of what, what's uh, being transmitted there. It don't do too good on a on a close up, that's for sure. Okay, anyhow, there's quite a few DX stations on out of this scene, and I usually get on there in the evening and work all kinds of, uh, of DX on the JT65 HF. Okay, and I have the sound muted on this because it does get annoying for people here in the uh, in the radio shack. Okay, you can probably hear the tones there, and people really get annoyed when they come in here and have to listen to the tones. So I have them muted with the audio output transformer. Uh, it's basically all I have in between the sound coming out of the computer and uh, the mic input. I mean the sound coming out of the rig, the mic input of the, of the uh, computer. Okay, that's the JT65. There I'm running it on a Kentwood uh, TS520S here. It does a pretty good job. And uh, I have the old Tempo 1 over here. I use it over here on uh, the DigiPan. You can see I have a frequency counter up there. That is a bench frequency counter. I believe it's a Hewlett Packard I use to make sure 
and I'm right on the, the frequency bar when I'm transmitting. I don't want to be somewhere I'm not supposed to be. And I do have the digipan uh, running on this one over here on 20 meters. On this rig here on on 20 meters. And, uh, and there's looks like it's a couple people calling CQ. 20 meters doesn't really come up to, uh, to late in the evening. Okay, there's somebody transmitting there now. Okay, anyhow, that is the uh, the digipan I have running here, and there's a waterfall down there at the bottom, uh, as you can see down there. And it's it's some traffic on there this evening, but it really gets good uh, late in the evening here on 20 meters. Okay, let me back off from that a little bit. And that is uh, is a digipan that we're running. Uh, here on on this computer, um, I do have the Ham Radio Deluxe program also, but I like the DigiPan better. It uh, seems to be easier to uh, to operate. And uh, the other stuff I have here in the shack is the old, uh, like I say, this rig I'm running the DigiPan on is a Tempo One, and it is a sure is a solid performer. I mean, it don't drift at all. It stays right on the frequency once you put it there. So this is the 520. Now this this swan here that I use for phone, the uh, the sign it, it does take a few minutes to warm up. This here is a, uh, a model 270B, a single side band trans transceiver. It's the swan uh, sign it, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, there and. Uh, uh, they basically have some uh, some collector's items here in the shack, but they they work quite well for sure. And uh, we have, like I say, I had uh, also have some scanner equipment here too. I have a uh, the Barrett scanner there that I use, but most of them have went digital now. Uh, you know, uh, on the scanner frequencies and. Uh, and that thing has to be uh, aggravating when you have to program uh, the the, uh, the memory banks and things in that. But uh, if you want to listen to it, that's what you have to do. Okay. And uh, I see uh, the DigiPan over here is is really going good. I'm uh, not the DigiPan, but the JT 65HF is going pretty good here. And like I say, uh, these are ham radio digital modes. They're the most uh, popular that's being used right now on ham radio. And you can virtually set these uh, these modes up for nothing. Just a computer and uh, an audio output transformer is all you need. You don't really need a TR switch uh, as long as you've got a box on your radio. That works just fine. And, uh, uh, It'll key the the radio up with with the uh, with the tones when you're using your box. And uh, well, let's see here. Uh, I have some 10 meter stuff here too. I use on 10 meters sometimes when that band is open. And up there on the top, that's I asked in 10 meter FM. I have up there I use on the uh, the FM part of uh, FM uh, from 29. Uh, on up there when when that band's open, it's G repeaters uh, there on uh, on 10 meters on uh, the FM. And uh, let's see here, I do have a couple of shortwave receivers over here. I listen to sometimes. And this here is the Grundig. Here I use uh, sometimes I listen to that that's right interesting I have a DX392 here too that's radio shot always the PLLs are uh, locked they don't drift any so they're, they're good uh, good receivers and uh, uh, I have also set up some s stuff here in the shack for video you uh, see I have the tripod there and that uh, screen you see behind me here is a monitor when I use a tripod to monitor uh, my image with <laughs> attempting to uh, to uh, to uh, uh, to make a movie here uh, I, can, I can only get better at it I believe uh, I don't think I'm going to get any worse uh, okay and I have another computer sitting over there on that desk uh, I'll use that one 
sometimes uh, I'll use that one for uh, for uh, <coughs> for Morris uh, Morris Caddy that when I'm working uh, working CW and uh, this one here that we was just looking at a while ago that I was demonstrating the uh, the uh, uh, the CW get and the CW type program on. Okay, I do appreciate you taking a look around the shack here with me this evening and demonstrating my stuff here. I don't always use a computer to send Morris code with. I do have a a bench or paddle down there I use. I like to use that. I don't like to be totally dependent on the computer. And I have my MFJ Deluxe tier up where I use uh, use with the paddle and uh, use that uh, TS820 there for just about everything. CW, slow stand, uh, the JT65, HF, Digipan. I can run anything on it. Uh, okay, I do appreciate you taking a look around the shack here with me this evening. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll say 73 is here from KA4PNV here in the Radio Shack uh, this afternoon. Enjoyed uh, giving you a little demonstration here. I attempted to make a couple of other movies, but they didn't turn out too good. So I thought I would try, try, try again until I finally got something that uh, that will work. And thank you for uh, for looking at uh, for watching uh, this movie here. And God bless you. 73.